The deserted Ravenclaw common room was a wide, circular room, airier than any Harry had ever seen at Hogwarts. Graceful, arched windows punctuated the walls, which were hung with blue and bronze silks. By day, the Ravenclaws would have a spectacular view of the surrounding mountains. The ceiling was domed and painted with stars, which were echoed in the midnight blue carpet. There were tables, chairs and bookcases, and in a niche opposite the door stood a tall statue of white marble. Harry recognised Rowena Ravenclaw from the bust he had seen at Luna's house. The statue stood beside a door which led, he guessed, to dormitories above. Hello everyone, I'm Harry Briggs. I made the Ravenclaw common room today. It took a while because I had some problems with my computer. I hope it was worth the wait for y'all. I made a Lego box with my own art on it. Look, it's so realistic that you can hear the bricks. The Ravenclaw common room is not in the films unfortunately, so I based the entire scene on the books and a little bit of my own thoughts. Besides that, I used some nice pictures from Pottermore and art from others. It was really hard to make a round room with Lego. I really spent days planning on it. I didn't want to use cylinders like in the official sets because I prefer a larger scale and I wanted to make it perfectly round because that's explicitly mentioned. This is the final design I came up with. The only downside is that the floor isn't properly attached, though it's unlikely to be easy to build in real life. But if I ever do, I'll probably come up with a solution. On the door is of course the well-known bronze knocker, in the shape of an eagle. To get in, you have to answer the riddle correctly, or wait for someone else to get it right. The most eye-catching feature of the common room is of course the bookcase. Ravenclaw has its own library in the niche. This is where the statue of Rowena Ravenclaw is placed. Next to the niche are two pillars with bronze eagles on top. I made a table with two chairs next to it. On the table is a teapot and a donut. Then there is an opening in the wall that leads to the dormitories. I've made a staircase that goes up, but it's not completely finished yet. I will probably complete it when I start working on the dormitories. There are some paintings hanging above the opening. These are stickers that I borrowed from other Harry Potter sets. Underneath the paintings is a unique cupboard. Its contents are unknown, but it has a magical blue glow. I made six large windows in the room. They are bigger than the other windows in Hogwarts. And the curtains are blue and bronze, the colors of Ravenclaw. Near the window is a small table where two students are playing wizard chess. I made the sticker myself. By the next window stands a student with an easel. The student paints the beautiful sight that the room overlooks. The sticker is a nice version of Hogwarts that I found on the internet. Nearby is a small table with a letter and some ink on it. Next to the door I put together another bookcase. It's very tall and is decorated with some trophies. I also put the student's cat on the side of the shelf as a detail. I also made a white piano and placed it close to the wall. Ravenclaw students are often creative and surely musical too. There are probably plenty of Muggleborn students who like to play the piano. Next to the piano is a telescope. I put Luna Lovegood next to it so she can see the stars outside. Right next to it is a small cozy area with a fireplace and a couch. A student is sitting there enjoying the warmth of the fire. In the middle of the room is a round table. Around it are some chairs. On the table is a book and some candles. The room is mainly lit by the lamps hanging on the wall. I like how this creates a cozy atmosphere. For the minifigures I made a bunch of Ravenclaw students. This is Roger Davies. He was the captain and chaser of Ravenclaw's Quidditch team. That's why I made him wear the Quidditch uniform. Roger Davies also danced with Fleur de la Cour at the Yule Ball. Penelope Clearwater was Percy Weasley's girlfriend. But after they finished their education they never married. Luna Lovegood is one of the most well-known Ravenclaws. She has her trademark glasses on. The black-haired boy is Michael Corner. He was a student in the same year as Harry. He joined Dumbledore's army and fought courageously in the Battle of Hogwarts. Michael also dated Ginny and Cho Chang. This is Professor Flitwick, the head of Ravenclaw and Charms Master. He has his megaphone which he uses when conducting the Hogwarts choir. The Ravenclaw ghost is Helena Ravenclaw, 
daughter of Rowena Ravenclaw. Please subscribe if you don't want to miss my upcoming videos. Let me know what you thought of this video and what I can improve next time. Quinton wanted me to make the Chamber of Secrets, so you can expect to see that in the next video. Bye!